map. Okay, I disagree with that though. That's fine. Because I feel that Vladimir as a champion, you should run Flash Ghost on. And that's that what I mean. That's why I think. Half helps him. He's dropping very low actually. There's the Q. Race is coming in. That's the TP actually in from behind. Memento flanking from the top side. Kamashan called out. Goes down for first blood. Shook stays underneath the tower. And all of Rock are collapsing. Raze on top of him. Steelback will find the kill. Raze, he's so low. Police looking to contest here. Harold's down to half. Yeah, Shook Steelback's not here yeah, yet, yeah. so they could technically open up. Curtain call. Raze is going to bring up the shield, block a couple of shots. Because Singh trying to get in range as well. But they're all trapped inside the Herald pin. Steelback's gonna come into the fight, and Kasing and Nukeduk are dropping low. Paran comes into the fight as well. Raze is low himself. Shuk is also caught inside the pit. So far, it's a one for two over to Rockat. With all the members here, they'll get the Herald as well. Yeah, Steelback, he came late, but on his best Gandalf impression, you know, on the light of the fifth day, look east, this time west, because Steelback came in swinging double kill, because Cabochard is still freezing that bottom lane and didn't teleport in, so you have to question... Uh, how that all played out there for Vitality. Yes, they do an aggressive punish there on the Rift Herald, but if you're not gonna get your top laner involved, then you need to maybe re like consider your choices. We're now witnessing the great escape of Shuck as he went all the way through top side into bot side. But unfortunately that happens to be a vampire around the corner, so hated. Oh, he's over the wall. But better when that happens, he's vampires fast. around the corner. Yeah. No amount of drinking will solve that problem. That's a kill over to Betsy. Oh, and there's fine. still some limits. You have a three-man unit in in the middle of the map, especially Lucian to rise with Rom help. You could actually do a lot of things here. Right now, Betsy's getting aggro to go. Really good snare here, follow-up. So Betsy's finding himself outnumbered. Second shot's gonna miss, third shot as well. Nuke has to back away. Betsy, Betsy. did a lot of damage, but he's gonna be knocked into the team. Cabin shot's there to finish him off, and police will find the kill. And this is honestly the same thing. Rays and Memento are on their way down. Nuke Duck's gonna run right towards them. Probably not what he wanted. Auto attack lands for the concussive blows. Betsy or Fissure does not get the knockup, but Wall forced him to go downwards. Nuke Duck stunned. Betsy comes in, tides of blood. Memento with the kill. Brom passive is best thing ever, man. No one really cares too much about that unless I it's care. literally nothing. Crepo cares about Cloud Dragon, but these teams unfortunately don't. Kasing, the damage out from the Culling almost takes him down. It will take him down alone. Steel back dashing in. You see, they're looking for a flank here. Betsy's looking for opportunity. And we're getting a teleport. Big fight coming up. All Vitality are trapped inside the jungle. Steelback's going to follow up with a culling. First kill over to Belize onto Memento. Nukeduk's immediately called out. Parang TPing into the fight. Razor's jump in the zone away. Cause seeing a cabbage shot for another kill. Two and zero. That was a miss. I mean, I'm all for calling supports uh, <laughs> zoning abilities, but that was a clear miss. Shook's alive. He needs to look for the 50 50. But we're looking for a script for a playbook, a good pattern of uh, plays, and that was exactly it. You know, push in, get vision here. Now Ray's gonna defend, Shook's gonna drop. Yeah, raise and steal back there to block Shook, take the kill. Parang's low, he dies to Baron. Cabochard tags him, oh, which Cabo. ran and blades. Betsy's low, so is Memento, and Cabochard looking for the cleanup. He does get exhausted though, and already used the blade surge. Yeah. Kasing, not much he can do in this situation. Everyone from Rockhead's still low, but Baron over to Memento. Yeah, a bit too many people went over the wall here. Raze, you know, taking a bullet for his team right there. They did the right thing. Until the next minion wave comes in. Betsy. Yeah, he's fine. So, it's just going to keep up pressure. It was just delaying the push yeah, here. This tower's going to fall. Like, they just want to make at least a minute on every turret. Ooh, Ray's drop stall. Wow, oh, Betsy Duck. dropping into the pool. Nuke Duck staying on top of him. Kamashar will finish him off. This is quickly going wrong for Rockat. Quick flash from Memento will knock him the right way, but he slowed down from Shug. Kamashar's going to find him. He's also trapped. Three and zero. I mean, the tower's going to fall off the ring. And right now, they're finding an equal footing here. Memento gets the steal. There's the flash, there's the ult from Rays, but a nice black shield. Betsy will jump right into the middle of the team. Swang a sanguine pool will follow up. Cabochard will drop instantly. And Parang is still chasing down Nuke Dog on the bottom side. Memento will fall in return. That was a two for one. Over to Rocker. The fight is disengaged. Yeah, Nuke Dog turned around very quickly there. Onto Memento. Highlighting that Vice still does a ton of damage. Mm -hmm. Regardless of what patch he's played on. Rocker, that will open up the opportunity for them to take down the middle turret. Plus that dragon, three dragons over to Rockhat now, two Infernal. This is looking better and better for them with the 7k advantage pushing into the mid lane. They have no real minions left, but Nuke Duck's coming in here to try and defend, but gets caught out. He'll flash away, but not survive. Betsy finds him. Yeah, this Braum passive, these concussive blows are paying off dividends for Rockhat. Every time Race needs to attack somebody and then walk out. He was tanking the tower for the longest time. Here, almost dies to the splash damage. Really good at this support limbo game. 
Find from Kavishar looking for the reset. Oh, he's got to put up a shield when he targets. Kills. He'll jump onto Betty. He goes down into the pool. Parang is also caught out. Double kill in from Police. The cleanup from Vitality is real big right now. They find another kill. Parang is, is still kicking though. And Shuk and Kasim will have to try and uh, pick up the kill here. He did get the kill in return onto Kavishar, but three. Range of Betsy. Meanwhile, Rocka started up the Baron. It's dropping very low. There's no one from Vitality gone. Gone. They're not contesting it. It's too late. They're too scared of the potential bait. And uh, when they figure out it's going on, Baron's gone. Police popped the ghost blade, but yeah, wasn't there in time. That's the teleport on your minimap. He's in the mid lane, and right now we're looking at a flank. He's coming in from the bottom side. Kavishar gets caught out by the cocoon. They're collapsing on top of him. No help from the team. Kasim even couldn't get in range for the black shield. And now Rockhand back up again towards the Baron. And just a game of drawing vitality out. Now onto the Baron itself. Shook over the wall. I feel like we've seen this one before. There's the curtain call, looking to poke them down. Betsy, he's just so tight. Oh, he Nuke Nuke Nuke. also caught out. Shook tries to save him. Still back on the chase, so is Memento. Cross map, looking for the snare. We'll find it from Kasinga and Police. Nuke Truck is so low, they can't really fight, but a kill onto Betsy out from Police. Will it be enough? Shook is trying to get away here. Razor's following after, but they've tagged him with the concussive blows and the stun as well. Shook will drop. No way he can get out. Three and one trade for Rocket. So many hops. Couple low health members, One Memento shot. sidestep onto Parang now. He's not really gonna care too much. Oh, he's oh! Stole it! Fourth shot! One shot onto the Baron, the steal for police! And Vitality looking for the turnaround! Parang's trapped in the pit! He doesn't have flash! He's gonna go down to Guardian Angel for another kill for Vitality! Ah, false! What's happening? I. What? I just. What? Look at Shook's face! <laughs> to take down the middle tower. One thousand crit onto the tower. Police is massive right now. This is late game Jin, who has gradually been picking up kills. Seven, one, and six. Four items here. He's involved in 13. It is. Triple cannon onto the top side. The tower goes down. Rocket don't even respond in time. Betsy getting caught out. He'll have to run away. And Ray's knocked off to the side. He's going to get picked off. Down he goes, Drops. big crit out from police once again on to the inhibitor. And just like that, Rockhead, oh, this is so, going so badly for them. Betsy needs to get away, he cannot die. Curtain call comes up, Memento flashing away, will sidestep. Betsy with the sidestep as well, one big crit lands onto Steelback. But it doesn't matter, Vitality onto the Nexus turret. And this is actually just going to be game here. Oh, Rocket on. trying to defend, Parang is the one-man army, the rest of the team will back away. Oh, Betsy's going in. in. Betsy, big tides of blood onto four players. Can he be the hero that they need, that they deserve? No, he cannot. Steelback is the only one alive. And Vitality, huge turnaround. And Rocket blasting off again.